Hi, it's Pastor Chris here. I hope that you're having a wonderful day at home this week. And we just have a few um, updates for you um, just to let you know of what's going on with church, especially as we look ahead to Saturday and Sunday. The first thing I want to mention to you, and it's really kind of exciting, but we were really close to capacity for our guidelines this Sunday in worship. And so what I ask you, please, is to, if you are planning on coming in person on Sunday, that you register in advance to attend. We really need you to register with everyone in your that you want to sit with. We want to know who's expecting because eventually there might become a scenario where we actually aren't able to let people in the building. So please do everything you can to register. If you register early and that changes for you come Sunday, you can let us know and we'll take you off the registration. We just want to be as clear as possible about that. As we look ahead to Sunday, there are two things I want to also remind you about. One, we have our Bethel Kids activity sheet that Jesse's been working on. We had our first one this week. We're going to also have that available this week and with the video in the service. I hope that's a blessing to you and your family, especially if you have kids at home. Print that out. But also remember, we're following back an hour this, this, this Sunday. So make sure to set your clocks back and even set your brains back a little bit. And the last thing I just want to mention, and we've been talking about it the past few weeks, and we're finally here. The Harvest Festival is this Saturday, October 31st, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And you might have seen just some updated concerns from Dina Henshaw about AHS guidelines, about gathering. We are being as careful as possible, and since this event is outdoor, we feel confident that we can offer a safe experience to not, even people, not only people in volunteering, but also people who are coming to the event. We've sent these invitations out to the whole neighborhood, and we're going to make sure it's very streamlined, so it's really much more of a come and go walk through experience where you get to kind of pick up some treats and snacks from people in our church. You can get your picture taken, you can, get, you can be handed a free hot chocolate if you want. We're trying to make this as simple and safe as possible. We've already gotten a lot of help. If for whatever reason you wanted to help and you didn't get the chance to chime in, please feel free to email me. Um, my email can be below. We are so excited to meet with you and your families and our church, but also the neighborhood this Saturday. So look out for details on the website as we post. Other thing too, is that we're gonna be featuring a lot of this of that's happening on the festival on Instagram. So if you don't follow us on Instagram, we really encourage you to follow us on Instagram so we can show you everything that's going on. It's gonna be fun. Now, the next thing I wanna show you this week is a conversation about a new ministry starting here at Bethel. So right now I'm gonna pass you over to Pastor Tom. Larry Mann has been coming to Bethel for about uh, eight months or so. And uh, recently he came and shared his passion for prison ministry. Uh, Larry loves to share the word of God with people in the Edmonton Remand Center. And as it turns out, People who get mentored upon coming out of prison uh, stand a much better chance of not reoffending. And so I just wanted to ask Larry, Larry, first of all, how did you get your passion for people in prison? I can briefly uh, state my passion has been to share the love of Christ for others because I know what it's done for, for myself personally. The good news of the Bible has just totally inspired me. When I started reading and studying scripture, it just absolutely came alive and very convicting to me. At that at that point, I felt the Holy Spirit leading into me to, in some form of a prison ministry concept. Now, Larry, you're working with a fellow now, and he's going to be released, and you're hoping some some men from Bethel will help you out with, uh, in helping him uh, make his transition. So, what are your hopes for this individual? My hopes for this individual that I'm currently working with have been seen him for a number of weeks now, and I believe that he might be released shortly. And this man is currently involved in doing Bible studies within the prison concept of his inmates, and he, and he has a very, has a passion for Christ, like you wouldn't believe. He appears to be sincere about getting his life back together. So he's indicated to me that he would like to do that, to get landed on his feet, so that the remand doesn't become a revolving door for him. And I, and I do believe that this man is serious about what he wants to do. And I think that we can really help him. Thanks, Larry. If you would like a little bit more information about this ministry, why don't you go to the web address below and you can watch a brief informational video on the topic. And also, if you want to call Larry, his phone number is below as well. Goodbye, Bethel, and have a great week.